I just tucked it and I got a lot higher than I expected and I landed. As soon as I landed, I felt this gnarly like crunch, pop sort of thing and I was like, ooh, that's super bad. I was like, all right, well, I just broke my leg. Australia is my, one of my favorite places to go. I was there for two and a half months. Yeah, I was definitely putting my time in out there and doing a couple contests. I got second at Merriweather. It's just a good experience overall, and I was making the most of it over there. And I was serving with Leo and them, so it's always good to get some good waves. It was the day after the Rip Curl Grom Search International Finals and Leo won and I was super psyched for him and then I was kind of pissed off that I lost first heat. He went on to win, like I was so psyched for him to win but I was just pissed off that I couldn't do any better and I was having a pretty good surf and I got a left. It was just a perfect air section. I just hucked it and I got a lot higher than I expected and landed. As soon as I landed I felt this gnarly like crunch pop sort of thing and I was like, ooh, that's super bad. I was like, all right, well, I just broke my leg. I felt the bones like grinding against each other. It was just the weirdest, bizarre feeling. I like, felt it through my whole body, like in my ears and stuff. So his tibia was probably broken, I'd say six inches above his ankle, and his fibula was like three inches below his knee. He went straight to the hospital and they put him in a long leg cast from hip all the way down to his ankle. We use these things called power plates. Um, it's a vibrational device that we can actually have him stand on. Um, bone remodels under stress, and so getting that bone to be stressed was the first thing we wanted him to do. We wanted him to put weight on it. We wanted him to, to start balancing himself on that, on that limb. Yeah, well, we use a laser. Um, we use a laser, electrical stim, ultrasound. All those are just healing properties. Um, they bring blood flow. They actually help um, healing at a cellular level. So all those things kind of go and they kind of play a part in the healing process started doing rehab every day for two and a half months. I've never not surfed for that long. Like, there's nothing I could do about it, and I was just watching surf videos, and it was pretty hard two months, especially when I couldn't walk. It was super hard and stuff, and I, I remember just like bringing my crutches down to the beach and filming my brother, because I wanted to make him a video. I had a couple injuries, and it's hard when you're when you're his age or even my age now because I'm still growing. It's hard when you get in a cast and you're kind of like used to surfing every day and your style is staying the same as you're a grom and then you're in a cast or you're on crutches, you're on the couch and you're like growing. I remember my first surf back, my leg was so sore. I'm like, alright, well this is so bad. And I called Kevin, I'm like, I surf but I surf horrible. I'm over it, like I suck at surfing now. I'm... And then all of a sudden you get back. You have all the strength and you know your stance is narrow or it's too wide your arms are flailing and um because you're so much taller you don't know what to do with all this like extra stuff every single day got way better better and better and better and like in about a week i, I started doing turns i started doing, like floaters and stuff not airs yet and then about three weeks i had used chance I got to learn about a lot about my body and I honestly think it was almost a good thing to get injured and to be able to not take serving for granted. And I mean initially I think they're calling four to six months what they're saying his rehab is going to be. I think we got him back in the water in two months, a little over two months. So. Oh god! <laughs> that was bro, you see that? That hit, hit like 17 foot for 